Jamie Murphy was one of the founder members of the band you're listening to at the moment. The Space had huge hits with songs such as The Female of the Species and Neighbourhood. Jamie left the band in 2002 to pursue other things. And what those other things are, we're about to find out. Though. Do you know, it worked out well I had that piece of music. Um, no, no, no. Yeah, can you hear me? I, I'm, I'm sure you're familiar with tap, that. Tap, tap, one, two. The only reason he had it is because we play it for our feminist who comes in on a Monday. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, bet you, I bet you that goes down a storm. <laughs> right, now listen, we obviously want to know uh, what you're up to these days, but it would be wrong of me mm. not to inquire about what happened with space. What, why did you leave? You well, um, big fisty cuffs and all that kind of stuff. Well, before you know, before you said that, I was going to say that I didn't actually leave. Oh, didn't you? Nope. Um, you but, saying? you know, it's it's... I wasn't even, I wasn't actually sacked and it's a, there's a long story to it. Yeah. But it, it's a common misconception that I actually left. Right. You know what I mean? But it's all in my book. Is it in the Oh yeah. I see. I, I, I like the way like you that. did that. I like yeah. the way you sell that then the tea. Yeah, I can't tell you everything, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like it's like telling the end of a story, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So but it's all in the book. But right. at the end of the day, you know, I'm we're, we're all good mates again now. That's what you're saying. Time's a great isn't it? What was life like at the height of success with the band? Because you were going all over the world and stuff like that. I mean, in, in terms of you know what you'd done prior to that, and what, what was the lifestyle like? Well, to be uh, to be honest, I, I went straight from being in the band from I was in I joined the band when I was fifteen. Wow. Do you know what I mean? I used to have to go to the airs in my school uniform. Yeah. 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 But um, I guess so probably thought that ACDC were the airs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, after that, yeah, we got Simon. when I was about. 16 17 yeah. and then by the time i was 18 we would you know spiders was all over the place right and we were off all over the world and it, you know it's, it's great at the time mm. and, you know i wouldn't i would I, well i would have done things i wouldn't change it but i would have done things different you know they've done, done things differently uh, it, it, tell me somebody who works in the music industry that wouldn't wouldn't mm. have done that it's because in, it's almost as if there's always that god if i knew yeah. now yeah. if i knew then would have known yeah absolutely the only good to, to be honest with you though the only good thing to come out of it was he? Was my daughter? Your daughter? Yeah. Right. Was yeah. here with me today. Right. Say hello. Hello. Uh, as a result, as a result of the band, she came out of the band. <laughs> what, you purchased her. Yeah, so when you were on months. tour, get you to the Madonna. Oh, that'll do it. Right. I see. It's all coming sense. It's all making sense now. Yeah. No. Yeah. She got four mums actually. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. She's the only good thing that that's come out of it really. You know what I mean? Because I don't I don't look back on it with nostalgia and think oh that was all great. Because I had bad I had a bad time. Did you really? Ended up in hospital. Ended up in the priory. Yeah. You know when I was what. 18, 19. Right. Um, and after that, it was just sort of once you once you get to the top, mm. there's only one way down. Yeah. And you know, yeah. I, I see bands now, and I so I feel sorry for them. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because once you're at that plateau, it's not nice coming down. And we come down. We we didn't walk down the stairs. We we fell down the stairs. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. You know? Do, what are we talking about? The, the, the pressures at, the, at that level are they really really? It's tough? it's massive. Yeah. I mean. To be honest with you, you know, not that many people know this, but when we did fe Female, it was probably our first biggest hit, but that was originally a B-side. Yeah. And me and Tommy and Franny wrote it at Ridge Farm Studios when everyone else had gone out to get drunk. Mm. We wrote it as a joke. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And like the little piano thing and that. I mean, I, you know, I thought, I'm sure the words were in a joke. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because I know that they were, you know, it was written like Tommy's half and all this, that and mm. the other. Mm. But I mean, the actual it was written like tongue-in-cheek, but when we got back from Ridge Farm, Mm. And the record company turned around and went, well, what, what, what are the outtakes like? Because we couldn't use none of that. We were meant to be doing neighbourhood and we couldn't use none of that because it was it turned out terrible. Right. And the they the female. And they were, the, that guy Holmes was like, right, that's the one. That's the one that's going to be the single. We were like, oh, you're joking, you're joking. aren't you? Yeah. Get yeah. back to London and, and come back when you've got a, yeah. when you yeah. know about music, mate. Right. Um, but, you know, you got it right. And it is a big, it was an uh, epic song. Exactly. And after, yeah. But after that, I mean, you know, we were sort of tied to that. Mm. We were sort of tied to that thing, was, and it's like Dark Clouds as well, we hated that, mm. you know, and, mm. and once we had that hit with Female, like obviously the, the, the record company have gone to the producer, mm. like we want to turn it out like this, and it's, we didn't, I didn't know, I, Tim Planet, I hate it, I hate that album, and I don't even like Spiders. Right. You know what I mean? It's not what we were about, it's not what we were originally about, mm. you know what I mean? So. Obviously, we don't, we're not going into too much detail here because you ain't going to tell us. So, because mm. people have to get out yeah. and buy the book, that's yeah. fair enough. I know where you're I don't mind telling you the bit. Yeah, but um, giving you the moving away from that, then what, what happened after you left the band? Yeah, or, or, well, or the, you to were be honest, not what, left the band. You, there, was, you were, there was there was reasons be, for my departure from the band. Right. I mean, it, it, we started having a lot of trouble with the record company as come come third album time. Mm. 
we recorded the third album, we'd used two different producers, we used Edwin Collins, we didn't like any of it. Mm. So we were like, right, back to the drawing board, and the record company weren't happy with that because we were spending money over fist. Yeah. And it was just hundreds and hundreds of thousands of pounds, mm. you know what I mean? So, mm. um, so obviously then there's pressures, and then all of a sudden we'd done the same. We, we, we got it, we had a tour booked. Mm. We'd done this tour, and we had to go out. And, do, and like, the, from six months earlier, where we were selling out, four or five thousand people, we were doing these venues, and it was like, fuck, there, like, there was like a thousand people there, not even that. Right. And it was like, oh my god, where have we gone wrong? Yeah. And what I say, it's like, you know, I know people in bands in Liverpool now, and mm. kids who've just been signed and all that, and, and we were having success, not to name names, like, but I tell them, you no, know, as soon as you take your foot off that pedal, so you yeah. take your foot off the gas, people forget about you. Yeah. And we were gone for six months, and then it was just pressure, pressure, pressure. And me and Tommy just, you know, we obviously were going our separate ways, songwriting ways. Yeah, yeah. Um, and because we'd already been a bit <coughs> different anyway, but we were actually it, the, the fourth was getting too big. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now I know you went on to uh, form a band called Firehead. Uh, when you, <laughs> you, 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 you kind of have a description for that, which unfortunately we can't broadcast on yeah. the radio. Yeah. Um, w what was it that didn't work in that? Uh, it was just it was. It was C A R P C A A can't even say C R A P maybe crap. yeah, yeah. Um, it was so you know that's one of them ones isn't it yeah I was too I think I'd come out of space <laughs> yeah I'd come was... from space and like no other way you can say it is yeah, yeah I'd left space I know I had left and um, I tried to get so far away from that that what I was doing was just it was it was it was no good you know right, what I mean right I mean with this you know with what we're doing now was a lot more. Mm. Better, you know, right, jolly really good. Um, the, what, what's happening at the moment? Then what I because I mean I know you you were I mean obviously you, your daughter makes a big difference in your life. Oh, and I can see it, you, I, I would touch you. Like, a bit of yep. soul searching went on. I take it then after the fire, the fire uh, uh, project. I had a, I had a, I had to, when I after I got rid of the fire, I got a, I had a bit. I was too old. The end. I had a really bad time. Personal mm. things, you know what I mean. Mm, mm. Um, <coughs> but I come out. I didn't ever think I'd get back in a band again. Mm. Never ever thought I'd do it. No. I didn't plan it. It wasn't this this new band. It wasn't planned or nothing like that. Yeah. It was just totally, totally by chance. Mm. You know what I mean? I was going to set a business up and, and, and whatnot. And this is your new band called Dust. <coughs> um, would Would you say just before we go on to that <coughs> that um, fifteen was when you were in the band mm -hmm. and you signed at what age were you? Well, we had our first publishing deal when I was fifteen. When you were fifteen, yeah. do you, you want to sign that? Do, do you think it? That age is, in hindsight, it's not healthy to be involved in the music industry at that level at, at fifteen. Because you're not, as I say, you, you go to school. You were, go, you were going to school. You were going to do stuff it's, like that. I've answered. Well, school. school like, but you were off school age. Yeah, you know I was I mean? off school age. But to be honest with you, though, it's like, uh, you know, I from being a very, very early age. I mean, my uncle and Ed got me into it. Got mm. me into music. Him and my mum. Mm. And from being like ten, eleven, I wanted to be in a band. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I used to play guitar in the middle and all that. Yeah, As you yeah. do when you when you want to be in a band, I'm sure yeah, you do, yeah. don't you? I want to be an actress. Oh, well, no. you probably act up for Same as that. my daughter. Same she acts me. So I used to, you know, I used to play guitar, and that's all I ever wanted to do was be in a band. So yeah. when I got to 15, I'm, it just felt dead, like a natural progression. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm. So I was, so we signed the first publishing deal when I was 15. Man, I had to sign it. Yeah. <laughs> and we had a um, People, if space fans will probably know, we had a single out called If It's Real, but we put out ourselves with the money. Mm. And that was, oh my God. Oh, <laughs> God, I can't tell you how bad it was.